didn't get a good start on your New Year's resolution, it's okay, you get another chance because it's Chinese New Year! Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Megan and today we're going to talk about all things Chinese New Year, Sunni. Here is a list of things for you to do to ensure you get all the luck and prosperity in the New Year. Number one, declutter like a feng shui master. Remember, a tidy space equals a tidy mind and a tidy mind is ready to receive all the luck and fortune coming your way. Oh, I want to keep everything. This jumpsuit has been with me since I was 14 years old. But hear me out. They don't make jumpsuits anymore, I feel like. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is, we're not off to a good start, but sorry, I can't I can't let go. Okay, this one I think I'm ready to let go. Oh then No, actually I spoke too soon. I'm so sorry. This is such a nice like off-the-shoulder black dress. No, you're staying, you're staying, honey, you're staying with me. Okay, I'm gonna go in the back to see if I can find something. Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm gonna have to get back to you on the whole Daifo Cho thing, but I promise you I'm gonna clean, okay? I, I'm gonna do it. The whole time my... I am getting too comfortable, guys. No, no, I have my reason. It's because I just had dinner and then it just got a bit too uncomfortable. Don't act like you don't do that too. Number two, avoid sharp objects. Sharp objects are taboo during Chinese New Year because they symbolize the severing of ties, which is why nobody gets their haircuts during this time of year. To prevent your mane from looking too crazy when you go by lean, make sure you book your hair appointment before Chinese New Year arrives. Number three, munch on some lucky foods. Anyone else love to eat? So since it's the year of the dragon, we got a little dragon and it's a pear. So in the back, people are buying their candies for their box of togetherness. Deck the halls with red lanterns, couplets, and zodiac decorations. Because let's face it, good fortune loves a bit of bling. Okay, it's time to decorate our door. Comes as a pair. Sunning, I love long lean baguette. New clothes. No, I didn't make this up. It's the perfect excuse to go shopping. Okay, I bought a bunch of new Chinese New Year clothes and I am so excited because I bought them online so I thought mm, maybe one thing will fit. Everything fit. It's a miracle. So the first thing I got was this, uh, what do you call it? Changsam or Kpo. But it's like Gailang's Kpo. So it's like the face of the style is different. 超漂亮咯? It's this black, again like cape hole, so the neck kind of goes like this and it's really nice. It has this little area. Very sexy. Can't wait to wear it. And then this one as well, I haven't opened it, so let's pull it together. Ooh, okay, you know how I said everything turned out good? I don't know about this one. Yeah, I think my Asian mother might disown me if she saw me wearing this on Bailin. Oh, this could be the thing that I get rid of for my Daiso Cho. Actually, it would make a good like, you know, like a cloth for the floor. So maybe, 
Maybe I'll keep it. Buying underwear also counts as buying new clothes, by the way. Number six, enjoy the festivities. Remember, the key to receiving luck and prosperity is to embrace the spirit of Chinese New Year. So there you have it, a checklist to get yourself ready for Chinese New Year. And what do you like to do to get yourself prepared for Chinese New Year? Let me know in the comments. 祝大家新年快乐，龙马精神。咁我哋今日就系咁多啦，我哋下次再见啦，拜拜。